Hello, you're watching the Rise Entertainment 360. I'm Lolo Ganike. And I'm Shannon Lanier, and we're here to bring you the newest and hottest stories in American entertainment, culture, and sports. Woo! And coming up, the celebs targeted in the naked photo hacking are fighting back. Mm. And we'll tell you what they're saying. Plus, Kim Kardashian, like you've never, ever seen her before, you do not want to miss these photos. I repeat, you do not want to miss these photos. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and hip-hop legend Daryl DMC McDaniel stops by to tell us about the Flex organization. And the hip-hop supergroup Naughty by Nature, Tretch and his girlfriend Cicely drop by to discuss VH1's couples therapy. And multi-platinum international recording artist Kevin Little is here with a performance of his new single, Feel so good. I'm feeling good about that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and we kick off Fashion Week, yes, with a runway forecast from expert keyboy Chase Marshall. Wow. This is going to be a good show. It's packed. Full of fun, excitement, music. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. And we're keeping our clothes on. <laughs> yeah. You know why? Because victims of the celebrity hack attack are fighting back. Yes, mm -hmm. fighting back. After dozens of naked photos of more than 100 celebrities were leaked online this weekend, stars across Hollywood have called in their lawyers. Mm-hmm. An attorney for Jennifer Lawrence has reached out to various porn websites featuring her nudie pics and demanded they be removed because she owns the copyright on the pics, according That's to true. TMZ. Okay. They're hers. Yeah. She wants to keep them private, mm -hmm. or you have to pay her to play. With them. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One website, meanwhile, is demanding proof of J-Law's copyright and is refusing to take down the photos. Okay, I guess right. they're fighting back at her yeah. then. Well, lawyers for supermodel Kate Upton also plan to sue. In a statement, her attorney said, quote, this is obviously an outrageous violation of our client Kate Upton's privacy. Yeah. And he <laughs> added, we intend to pursue anyone disseminating or duplicating these illegally obtained images to the fullest extent possible. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Okay. Strong words. Yes. And attorney Attorneys for Olympic gymnast Michaela Maroney are demanding her photos be removed from sites like porn.com. Mm. They're arguing that Maroney was underage when they were shot and these sites are trafficking in child pornography. Whoa. Maroney is only 18 and was one of the youngest targets of the attack. Yeah, she doesn't need a copyright for that one. Take no, them down. Take <laughs> them down. <laughs> wow, it's still, you know, it keeps getting bigger and bigger as the days go on. Mm -hmm. And we find out more people have been hacked. More people. Who's Who's oh. next? Uh, not me. So don't worry about no, that. I didn't not take me either. Oh, no, 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 no. No, right. no. I don't even take my clothes off in the shower. <laughs> Just get right on with clothes. <laughs> you wash your clothes and I wash your body all at the same time. Keep it all in the wraps. Oh, you know how to make your time useful. <laughs> all right. Well, in more legal news, it's a battle of the mice. The what? Mice. That's okay. because Disney is in a fight with DJ Deadmau5 over his signature big-eared helmet. Oh, you know, yes, yeah, his yes, logo. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Well, they claim the Deadmau5's headgear and logo are too similar to their famous Mickey Mouse ears and they're attempting to block him from attaining a trademark in the U.S. Now Dead Mouse has been rocking his mouse costume for more than a decade mm -hmm. and he already has trademarks in 30 other countries uh. but Disney maintains that a U.S. trademark mm. would do damage to their business. Okay but Disney's known all around the world as well. I know. So uh, this is going to be a tight battle. We'll have yeah, to keep an eye on this one and see who wins out. I smell a rat, Shannon. Oh! <laughs> get him some cheese. <laughs> what are you that doing? That was so I don't bad. Know. Corny, I know. I sorry. Know. We'll that move on. So, I'm so, I'm, Save I'm us, so please. <laughs> All right. Well, the British GQ Men of the Year Awards were last night. Burberry mm. CEO Christopher Bailey won for Designer of the Year. Mm -hmm. Comedian actor Jonah Hill won International Man of the oh, Year, okay. and Benedict Cumberbatch walked away with the Actor Prize of the Year. But you know what? The evening belonged to Kim Kardashian. I wonder why. Well, she was given the Woman of the Year Prize. I wonder why. But that's not all. <laughs> Check out this photo. Here she is, a ceremony with her hubby Kanye West. She's sporting a Ralph and Russo couture gown that highlights her ample curves and her two breast friends. <laughs> <laughs> now that was worse than I smell a rat. <laughs> All right, well, Kim K ditched clothes altogether for her new spread in the new issue of GQ. Here she is sporting a sultry glare, mm -hmm. and she's left nothing and Whoa. I do mean nothing to the imagination. I think my heart just skipped a beat. Oh, yeah. can we see a little bit more? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. What's that in the way? Come on, oh. move that coffee mug. <laughs> she my doesn't goodness. have to worry about being hacked at all, clearly. 
Whoa. No, she doesn't care, but she's getting paid for her photos. Letting it all hang out. Yeah, but you said no one has seen her like that before, unless you've seen a certain video. I'm just saying, maybe you have seen her like that before. Okay, let's move on. Kim Kardashian isn't the only one taking it all off. <laughs> Lola will be excited about this story. Channing Tatum and the Magic Mike gang are back for a sequel. Yay! Filming. You guys, you clap when we Boo. see nude ladies all the time. You better clap for this. <laughs> no. Nope. Crickets, crickets, crickets. <laughs> There's that's one what, lady. That's come what on. you get when you work with a team of cameramen. Oh, Kayla, come on. Support her. Give her a clap for Lola and the Magic Mike crew. There you go. You got a little cheer. She Thank said, you, Kayla. She said, woo. The one woman on set. <laughs> what are anyway. You doing? Filming for the Magic Mike XXL began this weekend. Mm -hmm. And Joe Magnello shared this photo on Instagram. Caption it. It's on hashtag Magic Mike. Now, the film is scheduled to hit theaters next July. This is truly the best news I've heard all day. <laughs> all day. No, all day. Shame. All day. Will you be first in line? I love it so much, I want to do that story all over again. <laughs> no, no, we'll move on. Okay. But don't worry, we still have more Joe Maganella news for you. Yeah. Yeah, we already know he'll be back for Magic Mike Part 2. Yeah. But it's you can not say like that again. he really has to work anymore, Lola. Yeah, that's do true. Do you know why? Because his girlfriend, Sofia Vergara, <laughs> is the highest paid actress on television. <laughs> the 42-year-old modern and family star made a whopping $37 million last year, according to Forbes. Can you believe that? $37 me? million. For that one show. Shannon, that's so much money. That's very good. Thank That's you. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Law and Order SVU star Mariska Hardigay earned 13 million last year. I love that show. Mm -hmm. Big Bang Theory star Kaylee Cuoco took home 11 million. And Juliana Margulies, Ellen Pompeo, they each took home 10 million. Not too bad. Mm -mm. And Scandal Queen Kerry Washington rounded out the top 10 playing Olivia Pope, earned her a $6 million paycheck. Oh, Not too hey. bad. I'll take a scandalous right. check like that. <laughs> scandalous. <any day>. All <laughs> right. Well, Joe Jonas's niece, Elena, is learning that it's all about the Benjamins' baby. Mm -hmm. Yes. Check out this Instagram video of her waving a wad of $100 bills. Oh, yeah. Too cute. That's a smart girl. My daughter does the same thing with $1 bills I give her. Though. Really? It's <laughs> all about the Benjamins, yeah, baby. Clearly. And the caption reads, hashtag Rich Baby's Instagram. She's only seven months old, but doesn't she look happy to see that green? Oh, she sure does. Uh -huh. About as happy as you do when you see it. <laughs> give me a stack of hundreds. Right, hello. Well, guess what? <laughs> Country crew and Carrie Washington, I mean, Carrie Underwood used the Labor Day holiday to announce <laughs> that she will be in labor soon. Really? Yeah, this will be her first child in Underwood and pro hockey player Mike Fisher let their dogs Ace and Penny make the announcement on Twitter with this cute picture of them wearing I'm going to be a big brother and big sister t-shirt. Mm, How cute is that's that? That's so cute. And you know what? The baby news continues. Yet another celebrity is giving birth really soon. Ooh. Drum roll please. Our very own Lolo Ganaki. <laughs> Did you forget? I <laughs> totally forgot. There. Lola is expecting. Come on, let's see the baby bump. Okay. Come on, let's help you out the chair. There we go. There it is. Woo! Belly button and all. Right. Turn to the side. A cutest celebrity pregnancy ever. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we have to get to some questions now. Yes. Okay, first of all, uh, oh, look, look at the look. Of course. Special delivery. Special delivery. <laughs> Okay, yes. first of all, I was the most oblivious person in the office. Everyone's you, like, you don't you right know? You sat right next to me every day. I know. How did you hide it so well for so long? A lot of, like, strategic posing. <laughs> like, there'd be moments when I'd be talking, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. so, and um, oh, mm -hmm. Is that why you always yeah. holding your designer bags in front yes, of you? <laughs> like Claire yes. Hubstable? Very, yes, very inspired by Kerry Washington. Oh, like that's Olivia right. Pope. Yes, a very lot of big Olivia handbags. Pope. Yes. Uh, always standing behind the desk. Like, but I'm oh, coming oh. out of the pregnancy closet now, um, When did you do? Late December, it's gonna Ooh. be a Christmas baby. Yay, Christmas. Yay. So does that mean you'll combine Christmas and birthday gifts? No, not for no. my child. Oh, no. okay, no. no. <laughs> special no. day, a special gift for each. Double the presents, double Ooh, the presents. You I know like that. that. Okay, so it's what? Not gonna shortchange my baby. <laughs> <laughs> now you shared your dinner with me yesterday. It was like chicken and rice and mushrooms. Mm -hmm. But what about the cravings? Do you have any, any late night pickle? fried pickle cravings. No, or... <laughs> oh my god. I feel like the people at Baskin Robbins are like, she's here again. <laughs> they know you by name. The usual Miss Lola. Yes, <laughs> yes. Two scoops of Snickers bar ice cream. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds good. Is that where you run off to every day right after the show? <laughs> no, <laughs> I... Gotta go! <laughs> 
had no clue. I walk home to burn off the calories. Oh, okay. And then I eat them all over again with my Snickers bar. At least you're working it off some. Yeah, okay, yes, yes, so, yes, yes. big question. Yes. Is it going to be a boy or a girl? I'm having a girl. Or a boy. Oh! <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, this is breaking news, because we don't know. I can't tell you. I'm sworn. Oh. I've been sworn to secrecy. Fine. My parents are really, really, they do not want to know. They don't want to know at not all. At so all. you can't let anyone know because then it may get back to them. Exactly. Oh, okay, fair enough. We'll keep. But maybe the audience should guess. <gasps> oh, yeah. What do you think she's having? Can you tell? You know, a lot of people have these, you know, superstitions about. Yeah, old white <laughs> tales. Yeah. I uh, know. Well, she's still beautiful. So I think you're having a boy because they say, I mean, grandma says, if you're having a girl, she steals your beauty. Oh. So, so for that, I say you're having a boy. Mm. Mm, what do you all think? Tweet us about this at Arise TV 360. Let us know if you think Lola's having a boy or a girl. All right. And yeah. send some baby names, actually. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah. baby names for boys and for girls. Shannon just works for both. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Lola, for pointing that out. All right. <laughs> all right. Now back to the show. All right. Back this was to so work. much fun, baby talk. We have a few more months to do it, so I we'll mean, move on. we could go shopping for baby clothes now. No shopping, like, no, no shopping. No, no. Okay. No, all right. Okay. Back to the show. <laughs> yes. Adam Levine and Jimmy Fallon played a game of musical impressions last night. Oh, this you've got to see. It's hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Yes. What's the ending? Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Sweeping the clouds away On my way With the air is sweet Won't you tell me how to get How to get to the sun street oh. uh, Do you know That is hilarious. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. No, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Close. <laughs> close. Really right. close. Really well, close. I'll save myself and just move on. All right. New York Fashion Week officially kicks off tomorrow, and Arise 360 is bringing you all to the party. Yes. From the runway to the street style, models, parties, and exclusive interviews, we've got you covered. We really do, don't yeah. we? Yeah. And joining us to discuss the new must-watch designers who are mm. taking the reins from fashion's older guard okay. is veteran designer and critic. Keyboy Chase Marshall, hey, welcome hey, to welcome. the show. Hey, Keyboy. Okay, so you brought your fashion today. It's right. it's now or never. It's now, now or, or never. never. Get it in. I woke up like this. <laughs> you woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> like that. You like that. Okay, so let's start off with pedigreed and polished. Now, okay. for years, Michael Kors has been synonymous with this sort of uh, category of the lunch uptown dressing. gals. Uptown gals. But now who is taking over from Mr. Michael Kors? It's funny because Michael Kors really catered to this high society, socialite sort of coterie. Mm -hmm. And the new person that I think is sort of really addressing that chopper is Tori Burch. Oh, yes. And she's really built a business that's quite similar to his in terms of its strong brand identity, mm -hmm. its recognizable insignias. She's someone now that's a major influencer on the fashion calendar. Her show is at the tents, and it's huge. All right. Now, downtown girls used to go gaga for Marc Jacobs. Yes, they did. But who are they looking to now for their late-night party wear? I, I think that not only are they looking to Alexander Wang for their late-night party wear, in terms of Fashion Week, everyone's looking to Alexander Wang for the late night party. That's true. He has totally taken, you know, the baton from Mark in terms of being like the the master of ceremonies yes. for Fashion Week in New York. His um, show is the must attend show yeah. of the season. Even if he has it in Cleveland, people yes. go <laughs> and they will skip other shows and they go ready to party. Because he okay. had his show last season in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, and, and he water taxied people to the venue. And the fashionistas were like, do I need a passport to get to Brooklyn? <laughs> and they got their passports. And, they and, they got got their passports. and it was a packed house. So it was, it, I mean, it's beyond a packed house. Everyone mm -hmm. is, you know, trying to 
you know, barrel roll under the fence and pole vault over the <laughs> drawbridge to get in. To get so. to Alexander Wang. Mm -hmm. Okay, high society women, they like to party too, but they like to do it on the charity circuit. Yeah. Mm. And Oscar de la Renta has always been their go-to guy. He And he remains the go-to guy for, let's say, the women of a certain age. Right, but the younger set... The younger set has turned as well as the first lady to Jason Wu That's right. for these amazing sort of frothy, often feather and jewel embellished society gowns and cocktail frocks. Yeah. He's really become the go-to for them. All right. So are these girls are down with the Wu. They are down with the Wu. <laughs> okay. Woo that could woo. be a new song. Woo woo. woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Now you have a category called Tomboys to Men. Yeah. First you have to explain what exactly that means yeah. and then well, tell us who's representing the old garden of new Anytime you can reference the iconic R&B quartet, yeah. Boys to Men, you should. Okay. So in life uh, in general. Okay. In general, gotcha. But <laughs> I also, in that <laughs> trend lane, I'm talking about sort of this really cool contemporary mix of a tomboy energy and sort of masculine tailoring in women's wear. Okay. And the, I wouldn't quite say old guard, but now they're they're old guard because their business is over ten years old. Isn't that crazy? Mm. They've been around for over a right. decade. You're Pro a schooler old has guard. been around for over a decade. Wow. It's so funny that now you're actually seeing a new sort of uh, iteration of that aesthetic through public school. Right. Uh, Dao Yi and Maxwell Osborne's uh, menswear line doing women's wear. They actually did a women's wear capsule with J. Crew. That was incredibly it, well received. It was incredibly well received, and it really has opened up to them the potential to make a name for themselves in women's wear. Okay, let's talk about Donna Karen. She's mm -hmm. a household name, but Rachel Comey. Who exactly is she, and why is Lena Dunham obsessed with her? She's a household name if your household is the first or the second stop out of Manhattan on the L train. Got you, okay. She is the patron saint designer of girls. Girls. Those girls that ride the L train, that sort of really respond to what some would deem the hipster mix. Got you. The high-waisted pant, the retro blouse, the ugly, but in some way attractive shoe. Yeah. She is really one of the designers that codified that look and put it on the map. Okay. All, All right. right, now Hervé Leger is known <laughs> for the bandage fitted dresses. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But he's I've no worn long... a few in my life. Right. But I've Not heard... anytime soon, though. <laughs> Not anytime soon. Tragically. <laughs> you, you, you actually carry it very well, so you could do it. Okay, but, but is he still the reigning king of these sexy numbers, or is there a new person um, taking well, over? Well, he has a clientele that won't stop coming back. It's literally like, you could, you could quite literally liken it to band-aids like people will always go and buy band-aids from the person they buy them from and they'll buy bandage dresses from the person they buy them from but the new players in that field of the take no prisoner sex as a weapon dress is a duo by the name of Kushni et Oak or Ooh. Kushni et Ox depends on what side of the pond you are, are okay. on depending uh, in terms of how you pronounce the name of the brand they're sort of hallmark is cutouts, mm -hmm. really dynamically and strategically placed cutouts. So where he sort of plays with the notion of bandage and wrapping, yeah. they play with revealing key erogenous zones. And mm -hmm. um, they're Parsons grads, they did their senior project together and really have hit, you know, hit the ground running, tons of momentum from the industry in New York. And they have quite a business. Mm, okay, yes. sounds sexy to me. And we'll be seeing I some of these this week. I warned them on right? the show. That really? turquoise dress with that little moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. the little cut out there. That's oh, a cushiony. Oh, that makes sense. That's Erogenous zones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can still wear it now if your belly button's sticking out. Look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you maternal Sex and maternity zones. outfits. Sex and maternity outfits. terrible. I'm going <laughs> to... So, Kiba, you'll be back throughout the week. This I is will. just the first of many this conversations is the first. about fashion. Now, I, and probably, you know, we'll see. I, I will look progressively worse from here on out. Oh, so, okay. get, get a good shot. All right. Because it, it's, 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 well, it's you're looking good. pretty good now. Thank you. Thank you're going to rock a little top knot later you in the week. You know what? Uh -oh. There might be top knot swoops to the side. <laughs> we'll you have never to see. Know. <laughs> All uh, right. We're looking forward to seeing much more of you. And we're looking forward to finding out who you're looking forward to seeing during Fashion Week. Tweet us about it at Arise TV 360. Yeah, if you do a little tap. <laughs> <laughs>